talk about Kendrick Lamar and his new track, Auntie Diaries, off of the new album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Guys, quite frankly, this is one of my favorite Kendrick tracks of recent time. Obviously, it's brand new. And quite frankly, the uh, reason because it's one of my favorites is because Kendrick on this track does something that I've yet to hear a mainstream rapper of his statue uh, bring into conversation. Uh, and obviously, we're talking in reference to the uh, transsexual conversation, and we're talking about more of the acceptance, you know, the theme of acceptance when it comes down to uh, understanding and realizing that the transsexual movement especially for Kendrick in his case when it comes down to his family is something that he is going to have to accept and uh that's going to come with new ways and a new power in his understanding and I love the way he highlights that he highlights that so well in this track if you really look at the lyrics from the time that the track starts when he um you talk about that minimal production that minimal production that kind of is is really subtle and it kind of mirrors Kendrick's understanding of the matter and you can kind of see that in the way the lyrics sort of progress as well Kendrick is really really telling himself uh my auntie is a man now you know to start off you know he's giving you a little bit of an insight into into his auntie's new ways of living and the way that his former auntie was uh would be uh carrying carrying himself in this case after the uh, transition and i really really like this because the intricate details that kendrick pours out in this lyricism it really really does show you just how kendrick how skilled kendrick is with not only painting the picture but giving you the giving you the uh the other understanding that you need to uh not simply just have the imagery in front of you for a track like this but to be able to take it and, and put it in put it in uh the proper context uh he goes on further he goes on further to continue repeat to to repeat the specific new way of thinking and the new way of understanding that he is supposed to have with this situation and as having transsexuals in his family and that goes on to come out once again we're talking about the theme of acceptance kendrick does this really well when he is describing uh describing to his to his uh to his other friends in the song uh that you know simply so they can understand he kind of dumbs it down uh, by mentioning how how uh, uh, she ain't gay, she she ain't gay. She just eats pussy, you know. And that kind of because that way of understanding for for Kendrick's friends is a way of them to kind of ascend a little bit in their context of the conversation because they're still in their ignorance. And Kendrick also another thing i love about this and what makes this album so great is he accepts his ignorance as well and he does that by mentioning obviously uh the f word you know the the, the big debate between the f word and how he w and his friends were very ignorant in using it for comic relief and and we all were at one point when uh, before the real mainstream um lgbt movement really came into play Play and we really had to adjust our understanding we were using certain terminology in a way in a way where uh it was just very very loose um but kendrick really really does hit the nail on the head when it comes to explaining to his listeners that he was really you know he was doing this out of mere ignorance and it's that ignorance that he is striving to leave behind and he wants to get the listener to leave that ignorance behind as well i really really like that i i like that so much and that hit home to me especially when he brings it home near the end of the record record it, it, it was uh quite a 
quite a mirror a mirror in the face of Kendrick and the mirror in the face in the face of many who want to have the conversation you know obviously the the big controversial moment in Kendrick's career was when he uh, brought those uh, two fans up and obviously uh, neither of them uh, were were uh, black fans they were of a different uh, nationality race and uh, of course they being the fans that they were were reciting word for word his lyricism uh, as it was um, and as it should have been as they are fans but when it got to the point of using the n-word it was a huge huge uh, pivotal point where Kendrick made it his goal to correct them in that matter because of what he sees as ignorance of them if they were to say that word and and be okay with saying it and of course the fans were cool about it they said hey you know we apologize we just wanted to use say the word for word as if you uh had wrote it which they were correct for that i i agree with that um but I really think that that conversation, Kendrick trying to bring in that conversation of, well, hey, if we're willing to accept uh, past ignorance, our past ignorance and the way certain words were used in regards to certain groups of people, maybe we need to have an, another conversation uh, when it comes down to the N-word. Now, I know that this is a very, very... Um, this can be a great area topic because racism, of course, is still at its all time high. And we, we are seeing that still living in 2022. Um, and uh, the same goes for uh, the LGBT community. Um, obviously, you know, you, you think about the recent uh, the recent horrific uh, murders of uh, transsexuals, unfortunately. And uh, that was a huge, huge huge issue and probably still is just not getting as much reports but i really do appreciate kendrick trying to bring this conversation to light which is why auntie diaries is going down as one of my favorites off of this album i really really love the conversational points love how uh the certain lines that kendrick really brings in when it comes down to him saying he will always choose humanity over religion uh that's a point where i'm at in my life um so i, I feel like he when he said those words he was talking he was talking to me and to the others who may have come from conservative backgrounds when it comes down to religion and the way certain religions look at certain specific groups or specific individuals guys let me know in the comments what's your favorite track on the album i'm gonna try to do more videos i'm trying to be a little bit more discreet with my reactions guys because unfortunately youtube is cracking down uh, a lot of my favorite creators have been running through issues especially with this album so i'm really really trying to be discreet um i want to really make the best use of my time with shooting content for you guys so I apologize that I couldn't get a reaction for this one out to you but just please take this as a sincere uh, reaction and as my sincere thoughts and I appreciate you guys for in involving yourself in the conversation as well let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe I'm Shuby this has been Kendrick Lamar commentary on Auntie Diaries from the new album Mr. Morale and the big steppers still slaps that slaps. <laughs>